for years. years. Yeah. To you, when you see these lightweights, what what do you think of the of the lightweights, the the Ryan Garcias, the Tank Davises, the Devin Haney's? What do you think of these guys? I think Ryan has power, <clears throat> uh, but he has a lot of flaws. Tank is good. He's he's more skilled and he has power. Uh, so, uh, like um, he's fast so, and he has surprising power. And Devin Haney, I think he's boring. I don't think I think he's the weakest link in mm. in the lightweight division. And I don't, I don't think too much of them. Yeah. And of course, like Gio said, you are, you know, you do have a lot of, you know, years in the game. You do have a lot of experience. There's mm-hmm. a lot of these guys that don't have as many. They might be skilled. They might have power. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like, like you said, one of these guys could overlook you and that might be your chance? Yeah, of course. Maybe uh, Devin Haney. Hopefully, I'll, uh, that that would be a great fight for me. You know? Who do you think is the best out of all of them? The 135, mm-hmm. Ryan, Haney, Loma, Tank? Uh, Probably Tank right yeah. now. Tank, Yeah, I would say. He's have, probably the best yeah. at 135 right now. Have you sparred him before or not at all? No, I no. never sparred him. I met him. Been lighter. I met him. He's a cool dude in person, yeah. um, but I've never sparred him. Let me ask you about. Sorry, let me ask you about. I'm jumping the gun here because his brother is actually on the undercard of Nando's mm-hmm. fight, but uh, Raymond Murataya, obviously, he's one of the most most skilled fighters. Yeah. We've been following oh, him for then, a while. Yeah, of uh, course. I'm going to say we've had the privilege of, of following him for a while because now people are finding out, right? Mm-hmm. All these fights on ESPN. You see Tim Bradley and Andre Ward now oh, giving yeah. him his flowers. But uh, Ray Muratai, I'm sure, is a guy you've sparred with and, mm-hmm. and are very familiar with, right? Yeah, he's good. And he's the real deal. For sure, he's up there with the, with the Tank uh, and uh, Ryan and, and uh, David Haney. He's up there with them. For sure, he's, he's really good. Very good. You guys, everybody will hear about him in the future. You'll be one of the big names. He's one of those fighters um, that stands out here at this gym. So I think uh, it's just a matter of time before everybody uh, makes a makes like a, a big deal for him. Well, for sure. You'll be I, champion for sure. I saw a video, actually. I think Ellie was here asking Robert about uh, who do you think can be Combosas right now at, in your gym or something like mm-hmm. that, something along those lines. And he said, I got a guy. Raymond Murataya right now beats him. Yeah. And I'm not sure if any of us on this table would uh, would uh, disagree with that, right? Yeah, he's that Combosos, good. Anybody at the top of 135, oh, he, yeah, he's he's that good. I think he could uh, beat almost, probably, uh, he's up there with everybody, 135. Shout out to yeah. the Murataya brothers. Yeah, Raymond, Raymond and Gabriel. Yeah, they're good. For sure. Yeah, I got to ask, I, I got to ask you, Neno. Uh, is that fire still there? Do you still have that fire, that you know, that burning desire to, to be a title holder? I know that you told us in our previous podcast that's what you want. You don't want these names or that names. You want whoever has those titles. Yeah. Yeah. What what message do you have to the fans that, you know, that are like, oh, what happened to Neno? Where's Neno? Where, where's Neno's fire? Is is it there? What message yeah. do you have to them? Um, <clears throat> just as bad as I want to be world champion, I, I just want to knock people out. I like <laughs> I like uh, I like fighting and I like entertaining. And I like hurting people, so I, I want to fight, you know? It, like the world title and, and championship, of course, that's good. Um, but if they were, like, if they were offering me a million dollars for for a fight uh, or 100000 for a world title fight, I'd rather take a million, you know what I mean? It's like, like you mean? Uh, I'm going to hurt the guy regardless, yeah, you say. Yeah, I'm going to hurt him either way, but... Yeah. It's a, um, sometimes the fans is what makes you feel like a champion. I have no, I don't have no world title, but a lot of the fans uh, support me and appreciate me like if I was a champion. I'm not, mm. I haven't, I haven't became world champion, but uh, I appreciate everybody who supports me and, and I feel sometimes the fans is what makes you feel like a champion and uh, I appreciate it. Well, for sure. I'm sure it's going to be jam-packed January 28th. Uh, San Bernardino, California, 